Hey everyone, so in this tutorial we will create this cool little product design. Link in the description of the reference, just scroll down. So before we start, if you're new to plasticity and you want to learn everything about plasticity, I have here on my website a huge course where we will create exactly this Apple Watch model here. And yeah, you can check out the reviews. And here all of the details from start to finish. It's a huge free course for you. So check it out. Also first link in the description. And now let's start here with our key. So first of all, we go to the top view and I've prepared already just here. I made a screenshot and cropped it and I will just bring it down a little bit and press M, bring it here to the front and make it a little bit opaque. And we are ready to go. Also, I want to disable selection in the viewport. So first we will start very simple here with the main shapes and then just loft and connect everything together. And let's start here with a two point circle and just snap yeah, from edge to edge. Maybe make it a tiny bit bigger and shift D for duplicate and just bring it here also to the other side. It's not straight, but that's fine here. And now shift A to create a line. And now just we have to snap it here from the middle to the middle and the same at the bottom. Just snap it here and here. So it's tangent. And now we have a few curves in the middle we don't want. So press T and select them. Right click. So we have our first great nice curve. And let's Alt click those curves and join them all to one curve. And let's do the same for this one here and then start to give it form and shape. So again, two point circle and basically the same process. So shift D bring it here and shift A and just snap it here 10, 10. So it's tangent, tangent and press T again delete those lines, select all and press J. So we have two lines. Perfect. So let me bring my grid here. So we see we have here some thickness and then here this round that thing. So because we are here on the middle, let's E and extrude this a little bit yeah, to upwards. And also select this curve and go to this view here and just bring that also a bunch above it. So I think that looks great. And now we have to close. And now we have to close it here with some rounding and stuff. So for that, so we can just uh, work easier. So we have, um, individual edges, just select here this whole curve and patch it because then you will just get here a plane, which we can use and just hide this curve here. And yeah, maybe you could start to try here to select those lines and loft it. And you see you are already getting a pretty okay result with G0, so but it's just straight because it's G0, you see, but here we have some nice rounding. So before we loft it, let's add some guiding curves with shift A and just from those two points here where the circle starts to bend. So on both sides and now to give it a curve, just select them both shift S to uh, subdivide them and press G, bring them a little bit up and S and just scale them a little bit outward. So yeah, it's not super crazy hardcore precise here, but this will work and you can adjust as you want it. So maybe even a tiny bit more. So you see, we have something cool. So why we did this? So if we alt click again, those edges here, and loft them and press tab and tab. So it's G zero with shift. Bam. We can add now this curve to this, uh, guiding line here. So that looks already pretty okay here. 
But let's, before we do that, just add one more because I think we have here a little bit of a rounding. So shift A and let's just snap it here from middle to, to middle and shift S to again create the point and just create a form that you wish. So yeah, maybe something like that. And now finally we can again alt click those edges with shift and loft tap tap G0. And you see, so shift, voila, we create exactly the shape that we want. And yeah, I really like this rounding. So right click to confirm. And let's put those curves into, with control G into a group, call it BC, building curves. And now you see we have here this stretching of the surface, but I think we can do this a little bit cleaner. So let me hide this reference image. So if we go here to the front, we can just create two new lines and use them both just to cut this piece away and just rebuild it because most of the time that helps a lot. So curve selected and now search for imprint or I have it on shift one best shortcut. Like I tell you, I use it all the time. If you want to use like literally the best proven shortcuts, which you with once you, once you learn them, you can uh, work so fast. Check out my PDF here. Um, yeah, you will learn everything most important about surface modeling. And also as a bonus, you will get my shortcuts. So you can also always just have a look on them. Shift one and let's imprint this onto our surface and let's delete those curves and shift. So face mode, delete the surface here. Because now what we can do is let's press four and join everything. And now we can select those edges and loft them and shift add here those edges and the top and the bottom. And give it here G0. And let's play here a little bit with tangency. So G2 and you see that looks in my opinion already much, much, much smoother. So you can play a little bit around with where you cut it. So you will always get a different result, but I like this much more. So also if we check here our zebra, so, okay, it's hard to see, but you, we, we see we have here some continuity and here it's a little bit too sharp breaking. So, yeah, I mean, that's also fine, but I just prefer this one. So I will just Alt J, unjoin this whole surface and just Alt X and mirror it over. So let's do it here on this side as well. So yeah, we could just mirror it over, but why not just to practice? So again, shift one, imprint those and delete the surface. And now also we could just maybe this time patch it and see what result we will get if we patch it. Because loft and patch sometimes works a little bit different. You see? We just get a completely different result here if we patch it. So it's better to go with the loft. Again, add all of those lines here and G2 and G2. And you see this works much, much better than a patch. So valuable information that we've learned. So select everything and control D or delete redundant topology. So here delete redundant topology. Again, everything in the PDF, control D to get rid of everything. And now we want, if we check here our reference image, we want now this inner ring. So select the surface, press O and just offset this a little bit. That's great. And let's unjoin the surface and select the surface with object mode and just bring that a little bit down. And also delete this face here. And now also we 
can try again just to loft those edges here with loft and G0. And you see we are getting here some super weird stretching. So let's do everything one by one. And again, because we have the same shape, we always have the same amount of edges. So this is pretty fine for us. And even here, okay, so here it's not perfectly the same, but yeah, it should work as well. And it does not give us a good result. So if not, press for join everything and let's try it with the patch. So you see with the patch, we get the result. So that's why I'm showing you here this example is that when you practice that you also always should just practice different variations, sometimes loft, sometimes uh, patch, because here we saw we have a very different result. Here we have a very different result. And that's the whole thing, you know, like the more you do it, the more you practice, the more, yeah, you become friends with, with plasticity <laughs> and yeah, just learn it, you know, and get the feeling and intuition for it. And I will, and here it's a little bit too sharp, too steep. So I will just go uh, back and just bring that a little bit up. So yeah, I just did the same, but now it's not so steep. So yeah, let's now again create this silver inner ring. So again, select the surface, press O and just offset and everything works beautifully. So we have something like that. And again, select the surface, Alt J to unjoin, select the surface and bring this guy here a little bit down and delete this surface here. And perfect. So now press four, join everything. And again, Alt click and let's try to loft those. And yeah, I just adjusted that. So sometimes even the height makes or breaks the loft. So now if we bring it to G0, it works. So again, if you want, you can add some uh, guiding curves to give it a little bit of a rounding. So, okay guys, like why not? Let's do the extra mile here. Let's connect all of those points here. and select all of those curves and shift S and go yeah, to this view here and just G, bring them a little bit up and scale them a little bit. I just want, yeah, a little bit of, of an unsymmetrical curve. Why not playing around So alt click and alt click loft G zero. And let's add here our guiding curves and yeah, <laughs> minimal this, um, uh, how is it called? Like, didn't make so much of a difference, but oh no, we have nice, a little bit of a more organic shape, like as we have here. So we did everything right. Cool. So delete the surface and alt click, shift D and bring it here to the middle, control click and alt shift click and loft. So we just created here this inside uh, wall. Cool. So now we can bring everything together by pressing four and join everything because you see we have here some nice cuts. So let's do them. And before we do that, select here this whole edge and give it a little bit of a fillet if this works. So it's changing a little bit the size, so try cordial, but yeah, as most of the time when it's a little bit more complex, I don't know, it just doesn't work. And yeah, without going too deep here. So let's just be happy with this fillet here. And yeah, I am. So let's select this whole piece on Alt X and bring it to the other side and join. And we have a solid. This is exactly what we want. So now we can start to cut everything apart. So shift A and just snap here to the edge and SS just scale that. So you are on the same edge and shift D to duplicate and G to snap it on this edge. Select both curves, 
C cut into our body. Perfect. And let's delete them. And also here, this ring here, which separates like this glass with the middle. middle. So shift D and C and cut here into our surface. You can also do even one more here, but for now it's fine. So now press 2 and zoom in and maybe Alt Z. So you're only selecting those edges that you really want. And let's give it here a nice little, nice little fillet here. Oh yes, I, I, I like this. And also the same here, just select with shift all of those four edges and give them maybe here a little chamfer with like the value minus one. And also here, just that we get some nice reflections, maybe even a little bit sharper. And voila guys, we have an amazing key. If you like that, and you want to dive much deeper, check out here our Apple Watch, of course, link in the description. We have over 1,500 students already. <laughs> it's amazing. So yeah, see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.